Tonight, the Gilroy community still healing from the Gilroy Garlic Festival shooting. And tomorrow, thousands of students will return to school. Many of them were volunteering at the time that gunfire broke out. We get more on what school leaders are doing for the students on their first day back from Action News reporter Felix Cortez. He's live at Christopher High School in Gilroy. Felix. Well, Dan, when students return to school tomorrow, they'll have access to counseling services and extra police will be on hand as a safety precaution. It's back to school Wednesday for thousands of students in the Gilroy Unified School District. And for many still reeling from the Garlic Festival shooting, there's healing in numbers. I mean, it's definitely better because, I mean, once you're with all, all the people that you love, you're distracted from what happened. It's easier to move forward. Many high schoolers like Alexis worked the Garlic Festival or know someone who did. Some still trying to process the events of that day, others trying to put it behind them. When classes resume Wednesday, there will be extra counselors on all 15 high schools, middle schools and elementary campuses. Alexis sought counseling soon after the tragedy. I went in with my whole family and it was definitely good to talk about it. I didn't really think that I needed it, but I, I'm glad that I went. So yeah, if anyone else is considering it, I would definitely push them to go. It's, it's helpful. The school district also working with Gilroy police to ensure that all school resource officers will be on campus full time for the next two weeks. I would feel more comfortable, um, just like with more security, knowing that there's more people like with their eyes open watching like the campus and like all around because anything can happen. And I feel I feel safe with that. And returning to school is also a part of the healing process school the routine and just going in and day in and day out it gets kids back to normalcy and I'm a big believer in normalcy and that it's a tragic event but we need to uh, stay Gilroy strong and move forward in this process and um, school is a huge healing process part of that process And the community playing a large part, a uh, really big role in helping to bring some normalcy back to campus. In fact, Sharky from the San Jose Sharks will pay a surprise visit to a middle school later this week. Dan, Aaron. Right. Thank you very much, Felix. El Pollo Loco, we told you yesterday in Gilroy, well, they had a fundraiser to help the victims. They raised more than $13,000 yesterday for the families of those three shot and killed.